Hey, welcome back. This is Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty and episode 19. Hey, you made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. <sighs> Good to see you. Think I wasn't coming. Surprised me with the invite. Drink all alone often. You know, surprised me with the invite. Surprised? Really? Didn't know what to make of it. But yeah, it's nice to press pause once in a while. I wrote you because... Because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. So what did you want to talk about? Good news for the off? Okay. So what do you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just, just Alex. Alex. Have moments like that often, now I understand you. Wish for retirement. Yeah, I feel the same. This happen often. These moments you pine for your old self. Lately, all the time. But I know the old me is long gone. I'm a different person now. Somewhere under all these masks. Say... You ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Wouldn't want a set path, probably the same as I am now. Would have left Night City, I'd still be with the backers. Maybe I'd still be with my family out on the road. As in nomads? Mm -hmm. Probably. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now, scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we join Snake Nation? <laughs> Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. To your health. Okay, now you. Who would you be? If not a secret agent and master of disguise. An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Call me old fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> Why musicals? Ever acted anything before? You're good at pretending to be someone you're not. Do you have a dream role? Got any dream roles? Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Guessing that doesn't ring any bells. Not a single one. No surprise. It's ancient <laughs> far as films go. I have a soft spot for tragic characters. Not to mention, I see something of myself in her. Neither of us know when to let go. Your future career to a normal life to our dreams. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Not gonna happen to your future career. To your future career. I know you can pull it off. Thanks, V. Really. Now I gotta go. Talk to Sungbird. I love this song. Never know when which way's up down. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing. And it feels as though I'm waiting. And I don't need no head in my hands. No, We're gonna t join Alex. Say goodbye. Thanks for the chat, Alex. Somewhere between the ice and fire. 
But we're gonna dance with Alex for a while. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Only ever dance. Busted moves. I can't say I do. What gave it away? <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind. Okay, that's enough of the dancing. So, uh... Alex, thanks. I kind of forgotten how much I miss the simple things, too. Don't mention it. See you soon, G. Yes. Now we're gonna meet Sungbird. Just let me get out. Seriously, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Gonk has let her run. Now heads are gonna roll. Over and out. Okay, songbird, 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 songbird. Does here? Sure we're alone? Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And okay. it means I trust you. Come over here. Come on. What's this place? So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Hey. Locals nice. come here after sunset. Fire up grills. Crack open beers. Talk about nothing in particular. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it. Every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it, Brooklyn. Mm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasting funk on their stoop. I hear Willie too. 
sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talk in one of his tunes, and there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Here's where your people are, not some place. Yeah. Know the feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too. Not a place. That was always changing. The people? Sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you missed something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Second Myers, I know it was you. Just be honest, please. Songbird, I need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hansen spring the trap on Myers. My end of the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusher mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up. I know, V. But I had no choice. Help me understand why. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way, honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, um, just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Burden of past mistakes. We both bear it. It ain't easy. Me for the biochip, you for the black wall. You mean to say it's my fault? No, just that when you try to save yourself, it's usually someone else who pays the price. Hmm. Yeah. Ain't that the brutal fucking truth? You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me. You could just go home. What's happening to you exactly? What about Reed? Don't trust him. First time you've been honest with me. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Been one to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the black wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean, losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes I, I lose control or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else, but it feels horrible. Felt it too, the chimera, like a living nightmare. Yeah, 
More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, the NUSA, Reed, from everything. And some great taste in allies right there. Speaking of. Out of everybody out there, you saw Hanson as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk one at that. That's why I enlisted you, too. So, NZ, just the first stop along your escape routes. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, B. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? I mean, I used to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then... You helped me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... That's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? I understand you and trust you. You want to survive just like you do. Yes, don't trust you, no, but I got no choice. Should be pretty clear I mean to survive too. I appreciate your honesty. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. Okie okay. Let's call Reed. Talk to Songbird, talk later. Nice to talk to you too. Reed, hey. I'm Nova, thanks. How are you? Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Then we'll have time to chat. For now, fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. Uh -huh. It's 
Looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. Hey. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Mm -hmm. Get our hands on that cure. Uh huh. Reed, what Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. V, one other thing. Mm. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you teach for a clinic. A doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing. Okay. Go to Farida's clinic. I'm thinking about our conversation. Couldn't shake this feeling of deja vu. You awakened a memory that had faded. One I can enjoy again. A memory of what? Another conversation I had once with a close friend. Honest, real, no ulterior motives. V, after all those years with the agency, questioning every word, every gesture, every twitch, always looking over my shoulder. Do you know what that's like? Can't say I relate. Sounds awful though. Unfortunately, I do. Just as much I've seen in you what I've seen in the mirror for some time now. A trapped animal that hasn't lost hope for freedom. All the more reason we need to stick together. Yeah, yeah. Can I get out of here? All the cops are after me. Come on, let me hide somewhere. No, don't. Just let me go already. How hard could it be? So it's underneath the streets. Come out and play, you little cunt. Hello? Hello? You Farida? You collect souvenirs from the Unification War. Got something might interest you? I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification War era. Mm-hmm. Come in. I'm sorry I was unwelcoming. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. V, good to see you. Oh, he's here. Hmm, who would have thunk? Uh, no letting me out of your sights. <laughs> here to see me? Things are in flux. Situation's changing fast. I thought we should talk. I'm here about Somi. What about I her? I spent hours wrapping my head around this. Putting myself in her shoes. I needed to understand what she must have been going through to... to resort to treason. Nope, oh, can't understand you're not dying. She changed over those seven years. Sure you got your priorities straight. You're in no position to understand, Reed. Your life ain't on a timer. But I know death. Stared him in the eyes up close. She's trapped. 
Not just here and now, but going months back. Hell, actually years. I blame Myers, a sore loser. Does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the black wall, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone, except maybe you, a little. Song should trust you, not me. That it? I can't say I really blame her. I can only blame myself. But could you have done anything differently? Something, anything, instead of giving in and being exiled in Night City a couple thousand miles away. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. Somi knows that full well. She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Myers needs her alive, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life? Never. Myers might not forgive her, but doesn't mean I can. Work for Myers. Somi tried to kill you. What are you trying to bring me around? What you trying to sell me, Reed? Nothing. I'm merely trying to convince you. Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? We stow away somewhere safe. Ask some questions. Establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help her disappear. From everyone, everywhere. Including Myers. Want to ask her a few questions, huh? Hmm. To understand her side. Got an idea already of what I'll hear. System broker. Almost took her life. Like it did mine. As for me, well, my time's well past. But so is still worth saving. Treason, believe you, make a good liar reader. You know, some would call that treason. Tell me something I don't know. I got contacts in Europe. We'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. But I need to help Somi first. She's lost, and I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the black wall and the attendant paranoia. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. What's all this mean next? She told me her plan intends to escape. Read you loud and clear. So what's it all mean next? I have something for you. Our best minds in DC cooked it up. Icebreaker. Silver bullet against any fortified netrunner. Farida will feed it into your system during surgery. Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. She could sense the breaker. Not talking about some run-of-the-mill runner here. It's meta-heuristic, hyper-aggressive tech, cobbled together by a literal army of experts. If she does sense it, it won't matter. No one out there, alone, could withstand something like this. You sure this soft will work? Dad, it's been tested on anyone at Songbird's level. From what they tell me, this program can anticipate what she'll do before she even thinks to do it. By the time you cut one thread, it's already found another. A precision-guided weapon designed to evade countermeasures. Okay, how do I use it? Mm. Fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Got this right. This is gonna turn to shit. <laughs> this will turn to shit. Who says it has to? <laughs> Don't know, man. But say you do corner her. Expect the unexpected, if you know what I mean. There comes a time when all expectations are null and void. Right now, we're focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. It's time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. 
So we're gonna have to uh, cross either Reed or uh, Call me once me. You're done here. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. And loose. Okay, no time to lose. Tush, meet chair. Okay, anesthesia incoming. Don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. An ID modding implant is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. Right, hello. Can I please? Oh. Sit in exam chair. Rare tech sounds like. Night City native. Clinic in Dogtown. Why run it here? To be honest, never heard of tech like this. Seems kind of sci-fi. This an FIA prototype? Mm-hmm. It was picked off the corpse of a Militech R&D project. Militech abandoned it? That, or they sought to keep it off the books. Top secret. Mom's the word. Politics. Okay. Anesthesia's taking hold. Now it looks like someone else. Changing my whole freaking face. Nerve endings integrated. Wow. Whole freaking face plates. Icebreaker uploading. Here's Johnny. How many fingers am I holding up? Ugh. <laughs> now, Johnny. Fuck off, please. You missed me. Warms the cockles. Truly. So tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Secret danger, you mean, right? Doing what I need to do to survive. I got a choice. Come on. You know this is a lose-lose clusterfuck of a sitch. I ain't here by choice. At least you see that. Means they haven't turned you yet. Not completely. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. The master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. Try with me as a victim, maybe you just don't like it. Think one of them's trying to dupe me? No, they're both telling the truth. I mean, might be muddy on the nitty gritty, but their motivations are plain and clear. Survival. It's her be all and end all. That, and she's a walking, talking nuke. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. And Reed, bastard and me are one and the same. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. What would you do if you were me, or uh, you haven't been much help? Reed, or Songbird, what would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. For every gonk choice you make. But I can't do dick. But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. Well done. The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. 
Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. Hey, exit the clinic. 